Hi everybody, this is Robin Kurt with Two Brothers Hobby, and today we're taking a look at the Top Flight Mini Contender EP ARF. Now, Kurt, the Contender style itself is uh, is an older design. Mm -hmm. um, I believe it's still available as a kit from Top Flight. Yep. Yeah, it's uh, and it was larger. It was a larger plane. It was a, it was a glow engine plane, yeah. and uh, and a really a, f a big favorite at the flying field too. It's, sure. It's uh, it's popularity, in fact, I'm sure influenced them translating it into a smaller EP version. Yeah. Which opens up the flying audience tremendously. Um, you know, we've got people that fly, and a, and a lot of our, our viewers fly uh, electric and electric only. Yeah. So seeing kind of that older classic design come into the space is pretty exciting. Yeah, it is. You it get is a chance to feel the airframe, see what it's like to fly, and and, and benefit from some of those uh, some of that proven I the think, proven designs that are yeah. showing up in the small. And I think any time they take a uh, plane that's available only as a kit mm -hmm. and make it available as an ARF. Oh yeah, it's it's always a welcome and addition. All the non-builders, exactly. You know, they want to fly it, and they'll they'll go yeah. through the ARF steps, but they don't want to actually yeah exactly. cover it and all that good stuff. So well, why don't you give us some specs? I can do that. The Top Flight Mini Contender EP ARF has a 36-inch wingspan and a 329 square inch wing area. The wing loading is 11.8 to 13.1 ounces per square foot. The overall length is 34.5 inches with a weight of 27 to 30 ounces. Now the recommended ESC is a 25 amp, amp brushless. Uh, the recommended battery is an 1800 milliamp 3S LiPo. The kit's going to require a 4 to 5 channel transmitter with a receiver. Um, and then if we look at what it requires overall, we can go right into the Two Brothers setup. We went right down the list and put all the stock recommended components in. We went with a Rimfire 10 brushless outrunner, four of Futaba S3114 servos, an Electrofly Silver Series 25 amp brushless ESC, an APC 9x6 electric prop, and then we used a Futaba radio system, this R617FS receiver, and then a T8FG Super transmitter. And then we finalized all that with a nice FlyZone 3S 1800 milliamp LiPo battery. So down the down the spec sheet, which is always nice. Pick and pick and pick and pick and grab everything that's that's uh, spec from factory. Yeah. So we'll see how it performs with that, uh, with those components. You did the build, the assembly. It's the not assembly. A full build. You can't see no, it's build. It's not a build. Rob did the assembly. So take us through what people can expect when they get their All right. mini contender out of the box. Well, despite its uh, its small stature, it is still an ARF. Mm -hmm. It's still very involved ARF. Yeah. <laughs> you know, typical ARF um, that we're used to seeing. Uh, starting right out of the box, we'll start with the sticker sheet. Now, it's kind of interesting. They give you stickers for Navy or for the Air Force. Uh, so okay, if there's yeah. any conflict there, it can be resolved. Well, right? I you went Navy. Well, I matched so. the box. So. Okay. Um, as far as the parts count, uh, you've got five, basically five big sub, chunks. That big are chunks, up. yeah. Um, what you're getting is an airframe that's built up and it's covered. Mm -hmm. And uh, they've broken that down into as few pieces as possible. Uh, there, there are some surfaces that need hinged. If we look at the tail surface, um, the rudder or the elevators do, do need hinged. Um, because of the joiner, the wire joiner that you have to put the two together. And well, fact you're that slipping it through the fuse, you're right? Slipping yeah. it through the fuse, yeah. yeah. And that was re that's I've tried that, why. keeping the hinges there. The, the, it doesn't, yeah. it doesn't well. work too good at all, does it? I put those together before I was supposed to slip it yeah. through. Yeah. Well, hey, you know. know. That's why, you know. That's you why they have debonder for CA. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> all right. The bottom of the fuse, we have a uh, removable hatch mm -hmm. uh, right below the uh, cockpit area, basically. And that's the... Uh, Gain access to a lot of your uh, electronics as far as like the ESC and the um, receiver. Looking at the fuse, you know, despite its small size, there's actually quite a bit of room, quite a bit of room to work in there. I mm -hmm. didn't really feel cramped at all uh, putting it together. Got a nice sturdy motor mount. It already has its down thrust uh, built in, so we don't have to mess with that. Uh, the hatch top canopy does remove. It allows you access, of course, to the, your uh, servos and such, and like for, that's where your battery like goes. Three rear air magnets that hold it on. Too, yeah, this holds on really well. It holds well. on very yeah. well. Yeah, and with that off and the bottom hatch open, you it can, really makes you it. You touch yeah. fingers. You so. can touch yeah. fingers and wave it. Makes it a lot easier. Well, that's all we have to do on this. Let's take it out, get it up in the air, and see how it uh, does. Make sure you come back for part two, the review scoring. Thank you. 